24. Yours is 34. Across the street from the Clay County Health Department is one of the city's top 10 attractions. That's it. It's the Liberty Antique Mall, where the masks required reminder now sits in the trash. Today has just been a happy day. Barbara Nynmar has run the store since 1990. She's glad to ditch the masks and start a new chapter. Just like a butterfly coming out of its cocoon. Vendors hope the changes don't create a new wave of infection so restrictions can be gone for good. It will be awkward going without a mask. I have worn it for so long, uh, but it is it is nice to think that, that we're getting to the point that we can actually go out and about and, and feel safe. I'm just hoping that uh, people get out and move around more. Uh, they feel a little more comfortable going into businesses. Vendors say the pandemic didn't really affect antique sales, but they say it is nice to see people's smiles again. The only drawback I can see is I have to shave more often. <laughs> no mask. Instead of on their faces, masks are in pockets. It was great. It was awesome. I carry it with me all the time just in case some people just may want it. In Liberty, Brian Johnson, KNBC 9 News.